I'm making this rack of lamb in the oven, a wood-fired oven in the backyard where I like to cook. Before I start working with the lamb, let's get the oven set up. So this is a wood-fired oven from La Piazza. Cooking in the kitchen in the oven, I mean, it can be rewarding, but uh, I like cooking outside. I like cooking over wood. I like open fire cooking. And so I finally now get to cook oven recipes in a wood fired oven, which is gonna make a huge difference to my cooking game. So I'm gonna build a fire here right in front where it can get started. All right, let's get it lit. It puts the flame upon the wood or else it gets the grill gun again. Fire started, chimney's wide open. Let's go ahead and get the cover on, let the oven come up to temperature. We're gonna try and get this thing up to about 700 degrees. In the meantime, let's get started on the lamb. I'm working with Australian rack of lamb. This is not anything fancy from a sponsor. This is the stuff you get at Costco. Now I'm doing something that some of you are gonna think is sacrilege. I'm removing the fat cap from down here, but there's a reason we're gonna need this fat and we're gonna use this lamb fat again in a minute, and we're gonna French these bones a little farther. It's gonna help us with presentation, but don't worry, none of this stuff is going away. So why am I cooking rack of lamb for my first cook in the new La Piazza wood-fired pizza oven? Well, it's for you. The most successful videos that I've had are videos where I smoked lamb on the big green egg, I made lamb shoulder on the big green egg, I made a leg of lamb on the stick burner. I made a leg of lamb on the big green egg. Like we just keep coming back to lamb, 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 and those videos tend to do really well. So I figured what better first food to show you guys than the lamb that you guys really like. Frenching, by the way, if you don't already know, is just a fancy word for trimming. All I'm doing is getting the extra meat down so that I'm exposing the bones. All right, so I'm just gonna score the surface of these. That way any silver skin that's in the way breaks up and gets crunchy and all my flavor can get in. Before we put our flavor on there, let's go uh, check on our fire. Okay, we got a nice fire going. The oven's at about 500 degrees. So now what I'm gonna do is move this fire over to the side, add some wood and see if we can get that heat up. So I'm gonna start by using the rake that's one of the accessories from La Piazza to just move my coal bed over. Did a good job of knocking down the fire there. All right, and now I'm gonna slide my andiron in. And this andiron is how I'm gonna isolate the fire over on the side. So I'm gonna use the ash shovel they gave me to move the coals onto the andiron. And then now with a heat glove, I'm gonna push this over to the side. And now we'll put a little bit more apple wood on here and see if we can get the fire that we want to get up to 700 degrees. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put our grill pan in here to preheat with the oven. Close it back up and we should be at 700 degrees in no time. So let's go get some flavor on that lamb. All right, so for our flavor profile today, we're gonna go with a Middle Eastern spice blend. I'm gonna start by using harissa, which is actually a blend in itself. And this has got some of the stuff we're gonna already use, cumin coriander, it's also got cinnamon. But we're gonna pump it up with some ancho chili powder, a little bit of coriander, just a little bit more cumin, get a little bit of umami taste in there. Wouldn't be barbecue without garlic. And a little bit of kosher salt. Now I'm gonna put some fresh cracked pepper in there. I'm gonna use the pepper cannon to grind out about a tablespoon here. Yep, that's all it takes to get a tablespoon of crushed black pepper. I love this thing. And then I'm gonna add avocado oil. Now, this is a high smoke point oil. Avocado oil's got a 520 degree Fahrenheit smoke point. I mean, we're still gonna be cooking hotter than that, but this is not going to burn quickly like extra virgin olive oil or any really most of the other cooking oils that you use. All right, so I'm gonna start on the underside here and I'm just gonna get my wet rub flavor rubbed all into here. Just a little massage. 
And we'll get some here on the meat side. Soak it up on the sides. And I've got Aleppo pepper here. This is a citrusy chili that's just gonna add a nice another layer of flavor on top. And a little bit of color that's not gonna hurt. All right, wouldn't be a meal without a vegetable. So I got this uh, meat-based vegetable here. If you don't recognize it, this is, uh, this is corn. This is what happens after those farm animals, those pigs, process the corn into bacon, which is uh, very cool. This is gonna make a great side to go along with the lamb. I'm just gonna throw this bacon around on here. These are gonna be some great vegetables. I got some cherry tomatoes here. I threw the rest of our wet rub on there just to get a little flavor. But I told you we were gonna not let this lamb fat go to waste. We are literally going to roast these tomatoes in the fat cap that we took off of that lamb. Let's see if our oven's ready. Yup, let's do this. You guys saw me have to cut the first one in the oven and take the other one back over here. Uh, that oven is hot. All right, so we got rack of lamb cut into lamb chops. We got both of our vegetables. Look at those pretty tomatoes. By the way, in the lamb fat, they're not tomatoes anymore. They've been de-vegified. If you need to know about de-vegification, I'll put a link in the description. So, and we got our real vegetable, the bacon back here. So I'm gonna start with the wood-fired bacon. Okay, yes, definitely gonna do bacon in the wood-fired oven again. Now I'm gonna do a tomato. Remember, these were done in the lamb fat and wood-fired under the lamb fat. Wow. All right, I'm having another one. I'm sorry, I know you wanna see me taste the lamb chop, but mm, it's like a flavor bomb. All right, cheers. I don't know how to describe this. In 15 minutes, we got the flavor of the apple wood. It's perfectly cooked. All the smoked and this is the best lamb I've ever made. All right, I am gonna be doing a lot of cooking in this thing. I'll commit to you right now. I'm gonna make a video every month and we're gonna cook something different. So tell me what you wanna see me cook. Something you've seen me cook outside or you cook outside you wanna see in the oven. Something that you've seen cooked in the kitchen that you wanna see in the oven. I gotta tell you, this is definitely my favorite new addition to the backyard. Hey, listen, if you like lamb, I'm gonna put another video right here. That's another way to make lamb that I think you're gonna like maybe almost as much as this, but this is definitely the bomb. So I'll see you next time on Eat More Vegans.